Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. There is a human side to every story, even those with criminal plot lines, murders and mothers. When the judge pronounced the death sentence on Miriam Sander, my heart sank. Not because I thought justice was not served under our laws, but rather because of how events have robbed the only daughter of Miriam's marriage of her parents in a sad twist of parental history that will haunt her for a long time. It sounds more like an extract from The Gods Are Not To Blame. The mother shall kill the father, and she herself shall be hung from the neck until she dies. The only difference is that it is not a tale, but a life reality for the innocent product of an unfortunate marriage. So when asked of her father or mother, what would she say? When her peers talk in noble terms about their parents, what would be her own story? Does our social system have a way of nurturing this young girl out of the possible self-esteem and other psychological issues that will be her lot by virtue of the circumstances of her parents? A situation well beyond her control, but for which she will bear the full weight. Considering the recent spate of husband killing, a trend which appeared to be balancing of the hitherto more prevalent wife killing, there is an increased need for the society to pay more attention to a few things. Domestic abuse, and I dare say both sexes could be victims. And issues of mental health, some of which are nurtured by emotional abuses in relationships. The government and religious leaders have a great role to play in this, because when we lose the family, we lose the fundamental building block of what makes us human. It's a very, very sad tale, yeah. what, what's happened. Mm -hmm. um, but like you, it's not like I disagree with the, the judgment. Um, I do think that if you take a life, like premeditated, Murder, then yeah. it, you, know, you just have to deal with the consequences that come with that. But I do think it is sad because, you, like you mentioned, you brought the uh, human side to it, which was, what would this child say when other people are talking about their parents? Mm. How, how do we even have um, the social system that will help this child, you know, help their self-esteem and, and, you know, help them feel valued in any way? We don't. And, th and that's the tragic thing about this place. But in a sense, I feel like, you know, we have people like Helen Paul who also came from a very tragic background. And I think there are many of us that, you know, for one reason or another, we've all come from tragic we backgrounds. Change that story, yeah, yeah. somehow. So you can change that story. I don't think it's too strange now to, you know, come across people who have something dodgy having happened yeah. to them, you know, whether it's rape or whatever the case may be. But yes, it's a very sad tale. You know, like you said, mm -hmm. family, once that's done away with, then you're just raising human beings with no anchor, but, no anything. For me, the only the side I want to look at it from is uh, for those of us who are alive. And then um, those, like you said, yes, seriously, <laughs> yes. And then um, those people who are going through that emotional, physical, psychological abuse, if you can't stay, walk away. Mm. And if you know you don't want her, instead of or him or her, instead of allowing the abuse, allow him or her to go. Because there are some marriages mm. you hear, if I can't have you, nobody will. Yes. Yes. You yes. Know? So it should be a lesson. What will your children turn out to be. Mm -hmm. Because if you do that thing that you are planning, 
you kill that woman or you kill that man, the consequences, the consequences also will be death for you. Mm, mm. And you will leave, you know, some persons. But even if you don't have children, yeah. you are leaving parents behind, you are leaving brothers and sisters. Mm. What will be their lot? Oh, here is that guy whose brother killed somebody. Mm. That's, you know, you're going so, to have to leave with that. Yeah, by the time you what? think it through, I think you will allow reason to prevail to say, you know what? Mm. Let me walk away. And I think, you know, in our society, we need to open up more to have, when you say something, to have yeah. more people who you can go to in right. times of trouble. That's I know people typically think the church, but you'd be surprised how few people will go to their pastors or whatever mm -hmm. and have I that genuine heart to heart and yeah. bear all. Like, I know two people, I can mention them here for the sake of those who may want to help, need that help, Bimbo Affairs. She specializes in counseling and also um, uh, praying Hannah ministry. So these are people who dedicate their time to counseling people on the, on the verge. And um, I think we need to have more of these people, like an AA service, where people know, look, you need help. Don't be ashamed to go for help, because it's always better pre prevention. That's, again, prevention my own is, is, you know, seek, is, And instead opinion, of making it seem like a bad thing, like you left your husband's home, it's better to yeah. leave your husband's home. He's yeah. alive, you're Same. alive, then, you know. Okay, yeah, I was going to say something similar, but what it is, that I, I look at it from a more professional point of view. What it is, is that we need to get people to see therapists. Yeah. Um, and we need to let, the, let people know who therapists are. They, because I think a lot of people don't actually understand what that yeah, word. Think We're not pastor. used to yes. therapists. It's, uh, it's, it's therapists we need. Mm. And, uh, and then um, we need, uh, I think the, the I world think these, is, these the world is therapists. more open. The world is more open now. No, professional ones, actually, rather than those that seem to think okay, they have the talent yeah. for it, yes. Um, but you, I, mean, you I can think they, may have, they have you, certificates. You, you, you I, can, I can't... Oh, okay. Vouch. No, some don't. I'm, but no, I'm there just, are some people anyway, who anyway, have the talent for it. Some people have the talent for it. Like yeah. we all so that we don't dwell on certification. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But the thing is, we need to let people know that these people exist. Mm. Let them know. Look, I tell you, if they know that uh, uh, psychotherapy... Psychology mm. is a course that is studied in university, and it's not. That's why that certificate thing. I'm bringing it up. I'm not saying if you don't have yes. it, it's rubbish. Yes. Um, but there's a system. Let, let there better be respect yeah. for that profession, yeah. and then people will start to go there. There was a time we Same way they go to a doctor. Music. Yeah, we used to disrespect music and even all football. That. Even yeah, football. football. Yes. Today we don't. So there's a chance that we will not continue to look at. Therapists, as though as if, yeah. it's not something we should go to. And yeah, but, but therapists have been around for a while, and yeah. it's just our mindset. We our refuse culture. our we, culture. We don't need mindset. <laughs> no, the, the, which the I culture. disagree with I that one. Because it, no, it's no, not, not our culture. the mindset. What we, happens? We don't look, we look at it like it's a stigma. Typical, yeah. Yeah. Typical, no, 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 no. Typical of us, mm. everything is religion. And so that's why, seriously, <laughs> seriously. How, how do you mean? <laughs> like, uh, fantastic. Mm. You know, so every, because we believe that the pastor is unknowing. You have a mental well, issue. Well, the pastor may also be suffering well, from well, the same exactly. problem. Exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You have a mental issue, they say, go talk to your pastor. Yeah. You have a marital issue, they say, go talk to your pastor. Absolutely. You have um, uh, uh, your children have issues, they say, why don't you seek counseling from the pastor? Or get deliverance. So get deliverance. deliverance. Or in some cases, the pastors now turn to motivational speakers. Mm. So you mm -hmm. don't see pastor as a one-stop shop for all your Problems. solutions for your problem. So gradually, it wasn't our culture. Yeah. No, our I, culture I, I, was... I, I, I beg to differ a bit. No, 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 I, think, no, no. I think, let no, me just say no, this. No, let me say this. Point. You know why? No, let me say I was this. talking about the inability to come out and mm. talk to people. Mm. And yeah. That's the basic problem. Yeah. That, that would be They go cultural. around talking to pastors. No, they, they, they don't so even do that. They don't even do they that. Do. But yeah. like, I, I try not to attend to it. But let me even go in. They do, which means that we are no longer ashamed of talking to people. I handle a lot of divorce cases. I was going to say that as a lawyer, you would, yeah. I have spoken to my pastor. No, I have to agree. They said this. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let me make the point. Yeah, I think culturally, saying, because and, and I'm generalizing now, but the way I perceive us is that we're very good at dealing with the superficial, but not very good at dealing with the internals. The deep, yeah. So you find that even when you're talking to people, they're not ready to maybe open up and admit to their inner, you know. So even when they have signs that they're on the edge, like the woman who's about to kill her husband, she all those signs were there. People were committing suicide. The signs are there, but they don't, they can't read it, they, you know. So because we're not used to being sensitive to, maybe we're hustling too much. Maybe if, we're just used to all this if, if, if you material culture where case, you meet people are smiling. Yeah. So we're not ready to, you know, say mm. I'm actually I'm, I'm on the verge of something. I'm, I'm reaching my elastic limit. Yeah, we don't sure. know. I, I think, the, I think the, 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 the day Miriam people have come to her husband, people have come to me. It started with as a Catholic. It started with. 
talking to, going to do confession Correct. in uh, you, the you, church. You, and then you, from there, you, you now become a pastor. When you break away, you feel people should come, come to you to, you. to well, discuss I mean, their problems. One problem. thing I definitely so am beginning to, to think, just like the way people who seek political office should go for um, an assessment. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think I now, you. if you're entering marriages, you should, you should go for a mental assessment as well. Because it's right, crazy. Right, you're right. letting a crazy person into your home. Or an unbalanced person. No, the problem is that you don't know. I'm going to marry somebody who didn't show I agree no, with you know, Uche, Uche in a way. You see, so many people are, you know, snake in the grass. They know how to hide yeah. these their dodgy personality traits. Yeah. yeah, until it comes down to this. I mean, yes. from what I'd read about this case, the first wife actually left because of this woman's behavior. Sorry. The no, first, he yeah, wives. he had two wives. Oh, so it's wow. not like she's she married a Muslim man. Mm. She's a Muslim. So it wasn't like she wasn't him. expecting mm. or didn't know that Muslims marry more than one wife. Then the first wife, she was even uh, is she a second wife, I think. Oh, told yeah. Me. Or the third wife. Yeah. So, you know. Wow. Wow. Just goes to it's show. Serious. But she was under pressure, so I think there was a It's not it's not a coincidence yeah, that it's happening at a time yeah. when the there is um, <laughs> right, rising cases of uh, of mental yes. illness. Yes. So they all they all tie together. Mm. Yes. It is apparent that social political issues require a holistic approach, or we will end up with a dysfunctional and lopsided society. After the break, Chuka is definitely advocating for a holistic approach to what he sees as a hitherto simplistic response to a layered social problem. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. 